If you run your services on GKE, or anywhere really, you need to have a way to get some basic signals about service health. At a minimum, you want to collect the golden signals for your service. Traffic is a measure of how much demand the service is responding to, usually measured in requests or queries per second. Saturation is a measure of how much of the available capacity the service is using. Errors or error rate should tell you the fraction of requests you're able to serve correctly or incorrectly. And latency is a measure of how quickly you're able to serve your users. You can read more about golden signals in the Monitoring Distributed Systems chapter of the SRE book. We'll link to that below. Of course, you need a way to capture this information for your services. My name is Yuri. I'm an SRE at Google Cloud. And today I'm going to show you how to instrument your Python services to emit metrics like these with OpenTelemetry, an open source observability library. Welcome back to Engineering for Liability. We'll start with walking through the code to instrument your application. Then we'll have a look at how to query and use those metrics in cloud monitoring. Our example service is written in Python using the Flask framework. It receives web requests and does some processing before responding. So we'd like to track the request rate, error rate, and the distribution of the processing latency. As always, we'll link to the full code sample but here's how you can add metric instrumentation to it. First, we set up the exporter to send metric data to the OpenTelemetry collector. It's a dedicated component we'll use to collect telemetry and forward it onto cloud monitoring. And we'll cover it in more detail in our next episode. Next, we define the meter provider, including information about our service we'll be able to use to query our metrics. Next, we define our actual metrics. We'll use incrementing counters to track requests and errors and a histogram to track latency. Finally, we use these metrics to record our data. We increment the counters on request and error and record latency before returning. And now we have metrics to represent the major signals of application health, request and error count, and a latency distribution. Now that our application is instrumented, let's deploy it and have a look at the metrics. Our application is written in Python and instrumented with OpenTelemetry. We use this Docker file to build the container image. We use this YAML file to deploy our image to a GKE cluster. And here are the three replicas. Next, we create this YAML file and use it to deploy the OpenTelemetry collector. And here it is running in the same namespace as our application. Finally, we have some pods generating traffic against our service. Let's go to Metrics Explorer and first look for our total request metric. We'll group it by service ID. This shows the request rate by pod name. We can do the same for the failed request metric. We can even have cloud monitoring calculate a ratio of the two for us to easily measure error rate for our application. Finally, let's also graph request latency. Because this is a histogram metric, we can use a heat map. This will automatically calculate the average and tail latencies for our service. So that's how you can deploy a service instrumented with OpenTelemetry to GKE and view its health metrics in cloud monitoring. Thanks so much for watching today. We learned how to use OpenTelemetry to instrument our service to emit basic signals of application health, like traffic and latency metrics, and how to query them in cloud monitoring. I hope this helps you to keep your applications reliable and your users happy. Don't forget to like and subscribe to never miss out on more engineering for reliability with Google Cloud. See you soon.